Hey guys, Mateo here. I'm the Guildmaster of Pathogen Gaming, and this is the last trek of our Chantress leveling video. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to hit this last level, 95, and then I'm going to go over all the things that you need to do as a new player that just hit 95 uh, to go ahead and get started on your journey. If this will ever load. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice, just like I kind of said earlier, is uh, I no longer one-shot everything. But as you can see, those mobs are burning from my uh, hot affection. Uh, they're not dying. Uh, the, the free gear you get is suddenly not all that great. That's all right, we're gonna get through it. Oh god, something's still alive in here. Come on. Still alive. Like I said, this is, this is far from being a DPS class. This is actually at the, the end, other end of the spectrum. It's nothing. It's, it's a non-DPS class. It's a support healer or buffer. Uh, so, so yeah, that, that's how long it's typically typically going to take you uh, to clear a level. Um, or just me because I suck. Maybe that's it. First thing is first is if you remember I'm renting uh, a growth weapon from the Neo Premium and so uh, when my Neo Premium wears off and unless I want to keep spending money on that I don't um, I'm gonna have to find a replacement weapon and that's like, exactly the very first thing we're gonna do as soon as we hit uh, 95 and I'll show you now, unlike the days of old in DFO where uh, your only option was, and this is uh, this is part of the event that's going on. Um, back in the days of old, the only way you could get gear was uh, farming. First, you farmed your chronicles, you farmed your, you know, your legendaries and, and things of that nature, and then you had to go farm hell mode a million times with your epics. And that was it. You either you were a have or you have not. You either had money for thousands of uh, demon invitations and the time to spam hell modes, or you didn't, and you didn't have the gear. That's basically um, how that worked. But things have gotten a lot better uh, in this cap. <coughs> Excuse me. It's actually a few neat things. Uh, you can actually convert uh, your legendary this expansion into epics. You can even transform um, gear from one 
armor type to another because that was that was pretty much the be biggest annoyance previous games is let's say you were a play like this character and all the legend all the epics and legendaries you find that drop aren't played so even though they are epic and they have better exorcism which is the stat you need to get into the raids um, they don't boost your armor type they, they don't work with your armor mastery and they don't give you benefits to your class so that was pretty frustrating that's been alleviated this expansion I like the little map there. It kind of shows you where where you are in the particular quest line you're in. Uh, that used to not be there when the game first came out, so you never knew when, where you were or uh, when you were done with a particular quest. Uh, unless you put a knot a guy. Uh, going the right way the first time. trusted by Almost done. Well, not real. Almost done with this, this city, dark city, district nine. But just know if you choose to pick the support, it is going to be this slow. Never going to be fast. Uh, fast is relative. Um, 
think I cleared Tabers. Tabers is uh, one of the raids, one of the current raids on my Crusader. He's all epic out. Um, about six or seven minutes. And there are classes that can clear it in one minute. Like they just one shot everything. Pick a pick a DPS class. You just think you know they're they're trying to make the leveling content easy, um, as it should be because it used to not be. And I don't know this. So uh, culturally, you know, for these clean grinders, they want you to take a long time to grind, and they realize that that really wasn't uh, retaining players or making a new player experience enjoyable. So they made it really easy, as you noticed in the first two videos. Um, but the current content is always. It's always to a point where um, the difficulty exceeds the free gear they give you, so it's, it becomes difficult as you hit the cap. And so this is, is slow now, and then um, it'll it'll speed back up as I actually get gear on this character, and then it'll go back to looking the way it did in the first two videos um, for everything except the raid cut. really been bothered. New place. Royal Casino. We're almost halfway, boys and girls. Almost the end of our journey. I like the music to this level. Uh, growing my age, I'm, uh, I'm a huge Streets of Rage, Golden Axe fan, Final Fight, Double Dragon, Knights of the Round, King of Dragons. Up the bad guys in the arcade and the casino and the nightclub really really brings me back, especially the, this uh, kind of like jazz fusion motif.
So you'll want to be collecting that terranium. It is useful. Uh, you have to convert it into refined terranium, terranium, and um, it's, it's used as an entrance material to one of the dungeons we'll be running as soon as we hit 95 here. I don't need. by all of my plate super armor classes that I play. I don't even know how to dodge attacks anymore. Skip those cutscenes. We don't need that stuff. Not for no reason, though. So you can always go in here. So if you look under uh, Complete It, you can always go back here and click on this and reread all of the uh, text from all the missions. So you, the entire story. From level one all the way up, so you see it's uh, numbered from levels. Everything from the very beginning of the game all the way up that you complete uh, will be in there. So if you're like, well, I know you've seen this hundred times, Matt, but I haven't, and uh, I don't appreciate you skipping it. Well, here's the here's the thing: as you're playing through it, as you're doing the levels, they'll be there. So even if you skip them, you can go back and do the same same thing. You can go through the same dialogue, same cutscenes. This is fucking do. 
Whatever, I don't get it. I'm always curious about that one. Where's that bucket? I think we're gonna make it. Got a little over two bars of experience to go. About 30-ish percent of my fatigue points left. We are going into a fight club. I'm talking all about it. I keep forgetting that this is just a preview, so I should probably just ult this guy, but it's kind of... Typically when you come in here uh, for one of the activities that you're going to be doing at level 95, it's, it's like a, a gauntlet. But for here, you're just kind of seeing each boss one at a time, uh, progressively. You're gonna fight this guy again, and then you'll fight the next boss, and that'll be the end, and then you'll come back in here. dropping some beads. So typically, um, if you're going through this base, that means you don't have any bonus to XP on your account. If you aren't using XP potions, which I don't know why you wouldn't, and I'll, I'll touch on that in a little bit, uh, as soon as we hit 95, then you'll be going through this mission um, and there's two more places you'll be going through. So the, there's a there's an introduction to all of the 95 content um, through the story. So you'll you'll run through chambers, you'll go through Nightmare Escape, uh, Fiend War. Um, just kind of like a single player guide experience in the story, and that's part of getting to 95. But because I've been using XP potion, 
and um, I have a pretty level. Of, I have a pretty good account here, so I get an XP bonus from my explorer levels. Uh, I'm actually going to hit 95 here, about two or three, actually three, um, three whole maps that I won't have to do. I'm still going to do them. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, I'll, we'll, I'll, I'll talk more about this as we get. Do I want to go through that? Run a Tantris. Run a non geared Enchantress. I take it back. I will go through everything. Oh, how about I make a make another video for it? I'm about to run out of stamina here for fatigue points. Uh, once I'm once I'm fatigued up, once the dailies reset, I get all my energy back. I I will make uh, another video with going through the introductory uh, 95 content. But we are going to talk about it uh, pretty extensively here, and I will put a comment in the in the comment section. So if you want to direct a friend that's been thinking about starting and they want to you know, skip straight to that. They don't care about me struggling to level to 95. Um, then I'll go ahead and do that and then click that link and, and skip straight to the explanation. This is going to be happening here in about, I don't know, five, ten minutes. So it looks like even though I am 95, I do have to finish uh, I do have to finish this stuff to unlock all the uh, new contents, but that's what I, I am going to do. I guess you are going to see me do it. Destiny puppets. So when you hit 95, you get a gift. Is the gift? It's rift sensors and demon invitations, and uh, those are things that you'll be needing to farm. Out of my way. Things you'll be needing to farm your epic equipment here at 95 cap for help help you farm it. So we only got uh, maybe four of these. Four more of these to go. I forgot about that. The unlocking of everything is tied to uh, the story, not not the 95. Actually, actually, yes, it is tied to the story. I can skip the story. So if you ever level past where you are, so let's say you are running XP pots. So this is a good point. If you are running XP pots and you're just you're you're going so fast that your levels are so far ahead of where the content is, you can hit this button called Clear Quest, and it'll clear all of it. It'll it'll catch you up to where your level is. So now I've, I've entirely skipped the casino stuff with those last three levels because I'm getting ready to run out of stamina. I wouldn't be able to do that. So now I have all of these red quests here. All of these red quests are unlocking all the content you need to hit 95. So I'll start that. Um, I'll, the first thing I'll start with is, well, hey Matt, where did you get all of those XP pots? So, First, first place, you saw me uh, roll on the Neo Premium. So this is the, the point shop for mileage. Mileage is something you get for finishing uh, a dungeon. Every dungeon you finish, you get points. Everything you buy in the game, you get points. When you bought that Neo Premium card for two bucks, you got points, mileage points. And you can buy stuff with your mileage points. Uh, so here's a X3 growth potion. This 200% extra uh, XP for 30 minutes. 
and it's real time so if you log out it's still ticking down and there's a bunch of other goodies in here this is a fatigue recovery potion it gives me some of my stamina back uh, so i can keep doing more missions um, and now this stuff is important right all, all these things that I've been uh, completing that I haven't really been talking about, Sky Rift, Celestial Rift, and so we're, we're going to go down the line on what you should be doing once you hit 95, and um, so you can get on your way to being useful in parties. People will take you to raids, you're doing all the group content, and you're having a great time playing the game. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn all these quests in, and then we'll talk about them uh, one at a time. This is going to be a lot. Dawning Crevice, we will not be doing that one uh, just yet. There's Severin. Wants to tell me about Operation Hope. And there is one I'm missing, and I gotta go do that one because there's a whole area down here below me that um, hasn't been filled in yet. So I'm gonna go in here. Let's talk to Kate in Central, hit location. Go in here to the teleporter, go to West Coast Harbor Dock, go to Central Park up there in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to go walk to Kate. Joshua has some quests for me down there too, and I'm going to I'm going to choose the long journey. We can uh, we can go through it, and this is uh, exposing Arthur, uh, another vendor, another part of the storyline. This is Nightmare Escape. We're learning about the um, we're learning about the bad guy, like the the story of what are, what are we doing in this expansion? Why are we in? Uh, why are we helping pray? Why are we in ISIS? You know, the, the, this whole the whole deal. So then there's Tabers, one of the one of the raid dungeons. Oh, meet Arthur. So here, the funny thing is, uh, this wants me to go back up into that same place and teleport again. But this place is actually connected via that little uh, skyway there. So here we are, we are back. I actually didn't need to go port, I just could have just walked up and gotten to Central Park. And so here's help Arthur reclaim the Ashen Grave. Grove. Grave? It says Grave, but I want to say Grove. Grove makes more sense. Until you go in here and you find out it's an actual grave. <laughs> All right, we're going to reclaim the grave from the ghost bird. Again, I'm gonna skip through this. It'll appear up in in my uh, quest section. I'm not I'm not too incredibly worried about it. It's down here. It's this one here, Fiend War. So I'm not too worried about it. I can go ahead and read it. You can read it yourself when you play through it. If you skip it or you accidentally hit Escape and you skip it, see now that that area is filled in now. Ash and Grave and Nightmare Escape. So um, if you accidentally skip through it, you can go back and read it again. So don't worry about that. It's basically just explaining uh, what's going on with the bird god and, and why we're going to go to that raid and everything that's going on here. So he, he actually becomes the NPC that lets us teleport to the raid channel to get in there and, and do the, uh, the raid content, the in-game content right now. So this is just the story introductory part. So you're talking to all of them and they're, they're giving you the backstory. Blindness is visible but unseeable. People call it truth. Justice. Hope I have enough stamina to finish this up.
like that, it reminds you if you have an XP pot on you to use it. It's not all that helpful for me being in uh, 95. Actually, it is kind of helpful. I will use it. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about why that, why that is helpful. I can hear my movement. While I was fighting the boss, we're getting their butts kicked back here. So, in Explore, uh, when you hit 95, growth capsule, uh, all of your max level characters, um, you're still accumulating experience points. Just because you're at the max level cap doesn't mean you're not ex accruing those experience points. Um, they're not wasted. They're going into this thing called a growth capsule, and you get to transfer that as an item that you can give to your alts that are between the levels of 50 and 90, and you can give those to your alts. Um, they can hold up, you can hold up to 10 at a time. You're, you can log into your alts, click get XP, and they'll get the capsules, and you give them the overflow of XP from your main characters or your max level characters. So it's a perk of having a max level character and playing on it. You get these capsules that you get to get to your alts to make them level faster. So we're done. Cutscene, skipping it, because you can go back into the book if you want to at a later point. So first things first, first thing you want to do when you're 95 is, holy. Probably want to buy some inventory space, but besides, but besides that, I actually just want to kind of like clean up, put some stuff in your bank that you don't need. Uh, so the very first thing here is this guy, Timothy. Uh, so he has some things in his shop. Timothy is the first stop you want to go to um, in when you hit 95. So uh, you'll see. And first, I, I want to go into this place. It's called the guy. So this is the equipment guy. If you hit escape. There's all these helpful buttons here. Some of these things don't show up when you hit any other button. So, um, so like here's an epic dictionary. So you can see what the items are. You can see where they drop. Uh, this this was actually a pieces dictionary, and um, you collect pieces as you kill hell mode bosses. As you can see, you know uh, because I've been playing for a long time in previous expansions. Uh, so some of my books are pretty full. When those hit 100%, it's like a consolation prize. Let's say I kill a thousand hell mode bosses and I never get my Heaven's Luck sword. Well, if I get a thousand Heaven Luck pieces, fragments, and then some other materials from disenchanting and, and events and whatnot, I get to craft it out of this book myself. You know, once I hit 100, it says not enough materials, I just come in here, left click it, and I get to make it, boom, it's in my inventory. So there's a there's a pity or a consolation prize to getting those epic equipments that you need to progress in the game. So even if you're super unlucky and you're not getting what you want out of the out of the dungeons or out of the missions that you need to be running, uh, you're you're eventually going to get the items that you need. And um, well. So, so you get unlucky with some of the pieces. So this is a new stuff, and I, I don't really have a lot of pieces of the new stuff. Uh, what I do, I have some. Um, so yeah, you're you're accruing pieces of the new stuff as well, and but you just so you'll eventually get it. You'll eventually get everything you need out of the game. So back to the guy. So you go here, this equipment dictionary or equipment guide, and then it'll tell you based on your current gear what you should be doing. So. 
exorcism is um, it's, it's a number that tells you how strong you are in relation to the dungeon you're getting ready to run. And you are actually penalized for being under that. And there, used, there are some classes that used to be, you could be naked, and you know, just like this class, where they're only brought for their buffs. They're not doing damage, they're not, they're not doing any of that kind of stuff, you know, they're not contributing that way, they just cast their buffs. You can do that naked if you wanted to, but you're now penalized with from exorcism, so you, you drop, you lose all your damage, you lose your defense, you're basically just going to get one shot in any place that you're not supposed to be in. So as you can see from my character, just hitting level 95 with nothing but the, um, well I do have that uh, rental broomstick, but I don't think the exorcism on it is, is much higher than uh, other, other gear you could have at this level, but just the quest gear. This is just the stuff I got from questing. That from, from doing those missions, going through the casino. As you saw, I got the last three pieces when I finished the Dark City and moving into the Royal Casino, and I'm at 3953 Exorcism. And to go to the next mode, I need to be at 4000. So I only need one upgrade. Ironically, that one upgrade is the Emancipator Brush, which I'm going to get from completing Sleepy Hollow. So Sleepy Hollow is a dungeon that you can run. It costs eight fatigue out of your uh, 273 that you're gonna have with your Neo Premium. And you get to run it as many times as you need to. It's super easy. You, it, it's just like all the old leveling stuff. You get to go back to one-shotting all the mobs and you'll get this stuff called miscellaneous junk. And there's even quests for miscellaneous junk. I think I have one, or at least I should have one in here. The quest in progress. Quest in progress. Uh, no, I think it's when I come up here. Oh, up oh, there it is. So that quest, kill the boss monster in Sleepy Hollow. I get 90 miscellaneous jump. So I'm gonna hit 4,000 as soon as I buy this weapon from Timothy. So I need to run Sleepy Hollow a bunch of times to get 700 miscellaneous junk, and then I will buy this legendary broom broomstick for my character and then I'll have that and then I'll hit 4,000 and I'll be able to run the next place now here's the thing it's not just a weapon too you can buy other things uh, you can get these things called emblems of hero and you get emblems of hero so it tells you where you get the stuff get the items from um, so you get these things from assault mode now so if you go back to the guide the next place you go when you hit 4,000 is assault mode so it's it's progressive it's, 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 a, it's a step up tiering system. So you get your you get your weapon, you hit 4,000. Now all those seeds of birth I picked up, that's what you need to enter assault mode. So you go into assault mode, and now you can pick up these emblems of hero, and ironically, well not, well not ironically, but coincidentally, the armor, and the accessories, and the sub equipment to replace all of this questing stuff, costs Emblems of Hero. So you run Assault Mode over and over again, and then you get these. You get these things. Now here's the great thing about that. There's a quest to give you the, the uh, sub-equipment, the Magic Stone, and the earrings of that set. So if you look in here, you don't even have to buy these ones. You get to say 1200 Emblems of Heroes. You don't even have to buy those ones. Five days worth of clearing. You get to you get to clear the fight club in assault mode twice a day. Twice a day. So you do that twice a day. Yeah, it's twice a day. Uh, you do that and you're gonna automatically get those from completing that quest. So you're you're all gonna be on your way. So by the time you finish farming assault mode, you're gonna have everything out of here. You're gonna have the sheep kashapa armor, the accessories, you're gonna get the sub equipments from the from the quest and then you're going to be at 4760 and the next thing you need to do is dawning crevice and I'll, I'll give you i'll show you a run through of dawning crevice for one of my other characters here before we wrap up just to kind of walk you through the content i'll do it on something that's faster than this just so you can see everything and i think i'll do that now so i'm going to log over and i'll log over to my crusader and then we'll we'll knock it out of the ballpark um, as, as fast as we can just to show you uh, different equipment. I didn't mean to mouse over that All right, so let's uh, let's speed through here I actually want these 
I want the token so it doesn't cost me anything when I go into here. So this is Sleepy Hollow. I'm gonna if I have a there we go. I'm gonna go on Sleepy Hollow once just kind of show you how it goes. How fast it is. So when it, when I'm saying man, it's gonna you gotta get 700 of this material. It's super fast, guys. It is it is absolutely super fast. If you have a good computer, it's, it's taking a long way. Right? So it'll take a while. But if you have a good computer, it's, I can't believe I did that. It's not gonna be a problem at all. So you just run through here, clear these levels. Like these mobs have no HP. This isn't just because I'm on a better character. Um, I level a few other things that had no gear. 95 is the same way. So you just go through here, run through levels, kill all the mobs. Apparently, we missed those two. You see this? It's just a straight line. No curves, there's no zigzags, there's no dead ends. You look at the map up there in the upper right hand corner, it's just you're going straight through. And it costs eight to keep going here, eight levels, eight rooms. Pay up front, pay the full eight up front. One shot everything, you walk through here, kill the boss, and out pops miscellaneous junk. See that? It's all over the ground. You also get some uh, wrist sensors, which you'll need to run Dawn and Crevice. And uh, Hell Mode and Celestial Rift and Sky Rift. Here's some more Terranium. Um, and, but you got a bunch of miscellaneous junk. Now if I go into my, my uh, quest material, I have 159 miscellaneous junk. So I did do the quest for 90. So I got 69 miscellaneous junk uh, just from there. Right, so that 50, 60 a run, you're going to run this 12 times. It's not even going to be half your fatigue point bar. If you're on a fresh bar, so let's say you know, whew, I hit 95, I'm done. Actually, I, that wasn't even wasn't even the quest. I don't think. I think I just got the 90 from the quest. There we go. So I just got the 90 from the quest. So I had that 69 just from doing other stuff, just from from the questing up to level 95. Right? Because I skipped this. Because I'm in epics from the previous expansion. So I, I'm way above this never even step step foot in here so after clearing this one time i already have 249 out of the 700 that i need so not even 10 more times of clearing this guys and i already have my weapon so i'm i'm about 40 percent done with my fatigue bar and i'm done with this i have my weapon i'm at 4,000. now i can do assault mode assault mode is down here at the bottom i'm going to click i hope my camera's not in the way i hit assault mode it's one of the bottom buttons down here at the bottom of the screen and you go into this place called assault mode now assault mode is a continuation dungeon so you're going to finish it once and then you, you're going to need to read the prompts very carefully it's the same thing it's very easy uh the mobs are very weak um so you're not going to have to struggle in here but it is a it is a replica of a dungeon you cleared before so there are the zigzags and the and you know you can get lost in here don't do that you know end up spending more fatigue than you need to uh, so but so be careful about that try to try to remember what the maps look like uh, when you ran through them the first time so you can maximize your fatigue because it's very possible for you to get through all those steps both of those steps guys and be all the way here on dawn and crevice on your very first uh, fatigue point bar and you can there's definitely some you know you can buy a fatigue potions so there's maybe two or three. There's, I think there's three. Uh, if you don't spend any money, there's three you can get um, just from playing. You know, you can buy one off the auction house. The Alchemist can make one. It's the, um, there's one you're going to get from the new player package uh, when you first start the game, and then there's going to be one you can buy from mileage. So you're going to get your get your fatigue point potions, right? And that's nice if you're unlucky or whatnot, and you're going to clear these. And you're gonna get your get your points. And so here we are again. I went too early. After the second ability, and the same thing. Now see what popped out of him. Emblems of Heroes, and this is what we need for. Um, and you even get them from the from the coins there at the end. So what, what was that like? 10, 15. What are we at? Materials. We're at 30. That was 30. And then we also got some of those green things. And so you're gonna have 400 when you finish here. What you'll do, you should put other. You get these from um, 
just questing, right? So there's a place called the Disaster Sector. You'll get you'll get these, and then you can convert those into emblems. Now I have 76, so I'm getting closer. We're getting getting closer to that 400 to buy a piece. And remember, you do that quest, you're going to get the three uh, sub equipments anyway. So actually, I, I take that back. You're probably not going to get it on on your very first um, fatigue point bar. Uh, the 4760 but you are going to get pieces on your very first fatigue point bar because remember you have to do it for five days to get the uh, get the uh, sub equipments from the quest line so you'll do that you'll do assault mode you'll do your, you'll do your all your assault modes until you run out of your entries and then you hit 4760 right so now you're at that magical point where now you can you can go into get your Harlem epics right so now this is going to be lit up and it's going to be highlighted it's going to tell you go ahead Get your epics, boo. Go ahead, get your get your gear. Um, so you know now you're looking for stuff like this. So that's my on right. That's my 90 epic, and on the left, that's my 95 epic, which I haven't dressed up yet. I haven't I haven't uh, enchanted it or or uh, enhanced it. So you know that. See my breathing breathing sound of Morning Star is plus 10. My bracelet is inferior, not superior, and it's plus zero. It's not plus anything. So I need to I need to dress up my 95 epics down there in the bottom my of my uh, inventory so I can get my character caught up to speed so I can run the, the new content myself. Even though I have the in exorcism already to run everything in the game, uh, I don't have the set bonuses, the new sets and the new uh, bonus damage and everything to make my character as strong as possible. So here's a few things that you need to do uh, after you finish assault mode. So you're gonna come out of assault mode, you're gonna hit hell mode. Now there's two things you can do in here. You can do sky rift, which uh, Sky Rift is kind of like an easier version of Celestial Rift, right? Uh, so Celestial Rift is a new uh, content they came out with because they don't want you to have to do Sky Rift a hundred million thousand times. They made it so that you can spend more resources to have a higher chance of getting loot. So it's, it's kind of like having that fatigue point booster on for the hell mode. Now you can go ahead and do normal hell mode if you run out of the materials. You see the entry conditions, it costs demon invitations and rift sen sensor stones. This is where the money is going to come into play. Or gold, because you can buy these things with gold. Um, but you know, if you run out of gold, you're going to have to spend some money here. So how fast you want to go through this is how much money you have. That's where the pay to progress. It's not pay to win. It's pay to progress faster. So if you wanted to spend money, get millions of materials, and just run this, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it until you're fully geared in a day, in a week, you know, whatever you want, how fast you want to go, you can do that. But for me, I only have 35 rift sensor stones, and I'm not really all that worried about, you know, spending all of them. So I'm gonna run through this right now, slash rift, just show you what it's about. It's still gonna be easy if you're 4760. If you're if you're appropriately geared to do dawn crevice and start getting epics, then this is gonna be easy for you too. But remember, uh, this character is wearing epics from the last expansion, so all of my gear is level 90, not even 95. Well, I'm not even halfway as strong as I could be, and this this place is still uh, child's play. Could you stop it up? One shot. And then out come this new material. So I get a refund of my demon invitation. Uh, and I get Aberrant Fragments and uh, Sky... I can't remember what it's called. Sky Wishes and Sky Fragments. So I'm going to head out of here real quick. So we're, we're done with Timothy, and it's time for us to move on. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is Dawn and Crevice, and that's to get you in the door, to get you higher so you can get to 5400 so you can start doing tapers now here so you, you have these materials right so we got a bunch of these uh where'd they go right there aberrant fragments it says 10 can be converted to one aberrant crystalline at strawberry nose della's shop and you can find them in dawning crevice harlem hell party and disaster sector and they convert it to these and this is the same thing as the box from timothy except these ones are epic and not uh and not legendary so they're better quality they're higher level gear they're better than the stuff we just got from running assault and um hollow sleepy hollow i think it's sleepy hollow 
Uh, so we just did that, and so we get those materials. We get the aberrant crystallines from doing that hell run, that celestial rift that I just did, and then you can buy all the pieces. Now here's the thing. Uh, let's say I don't play this character anymore, or this is it all, and I want to play something else. I can actually convert these that are untradeable to this version that's buying buy to account, so I can trade it to the character I do want them on. So if I ever want to quit playing this character, I can transfer these to an alt at a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, so I can get epics on that character instead. So now I'm going to take you up here. This, the other item I got, the Sky Wishes. Now here's here's the real raid gear right here. This is the best stuff in the game. Um, well, it's, it's the start of the best stuff in the game. This stuff can all be upgraded. It, say, it says on the item under there, Brave Warrior, now we can trust you. This item can be upgraded. All this stuff can be upgraded, guys, to be even better than it is now. So, and that's the way the raid gear works. You get a base piece, and then as you raid, you get materials through the raid, but you can upgrade it to even better. And that's kind of like the raid exclusive stuff. So, only, only raiders can have that back gear right and that stuff costs these things called sky fragments which you can convert from sky wishes that you get doing the content that i just talked that you just saw me do the celestial rim so i got some sky wishes i convert those into sky fragments so i talk to him i go to uh miscellaneous i convert my sky wishes into um sky fragments and when i hit 600 of those so right now i have 255 then I can buy these 95 these this 95 raid gear and then I'll be super ready to um, conquer the game I do some speed running do whatever so when you finally get to the point uh, when you hit 50 with 5,000 this will all be blocked out you can no longer it's basically telling you go get epics quit, quit playing with that go get epics so you're gonna do that there's one more thing you'll do in here before you go to the raids and get your epics. And it's called Dawning Crevice. I'll run through it once so you can see what it is. It's kind of like a, a challenge dungeon. Um, there was one that was called Temporal Rift Last Expansion. And it's basically, you're gonna run through here, you're gonna kill some harpies, pixies, I think, I think they're like pixie devils. Um, you're gonna fight too many bosses, so many bosses from the last expansion. Uh, this one is a pain in the butt, the other one not so much. I'm All right, you died anyway. That's cool. So we're gonna run through here. Um, killing the mini bosses increases the drop chance of loot. Yeah, if you didn't see the message there, they popped up when I killed that guy because I was lagging. Um, when you kill the mini bosses, I, I don't know what the exact percentage is. You'll probably have to Google it or whatnot. I'm sure it's known. I just never looked it up because I uh, never tell me the odds. Make. It's going to disappoint me if nothing drops. Oh, ooh, ooh. And this is the boss. So, I'm going to breeze through this, but uh, this is a lot more difficult than it looks if you're new. She has room-wide explosions, she has to go get those bubbles. Um, and when the when the ground lights up like that, she has going to zap you. And you got to move off the yellow tiles before it zaps you. Uh, I have like 90% damage reduction, so I don't give a shit about being on these. And I have almost near permanent super armor, so I don't get knocked down anyway, it doesn't bother me. So I just stand there. Uh, most classes cannot do that. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a consolation prize for that taking super long for me to do. Uh, because, again, I'm not a DPS class. Uh, DPS classes would do this like 10 times faster. My consolation prize, I get to stand there and just ignore everything in the room. That's, that's most PvE for the Crusader. And so that's it. You got, uh, did that content. We got some more Sky Wishes. We got a bunch more Aberrant Crystallins. And that actually 
has a chance to drop the item flat out. So I got this bracelet, bracelet of angelic righteousness, just flat from the boss. So the boss can drop pieces, but the boss can actually drop the, the full items too. Now it's random, because I did get this revolver, this gun, and I actually can't use guns. But I have a bank full of epics in here um, that I just haven't gone through because I, I haven't gotten a chance to do in-game content yet. Um, so that, there you have it. Uh, I don't know if that's don't we have it. So another thing you can do here, there's about two, two, three, three things left to do. Oh, not yet. Uh, that's raid channel. Well, I, so that's that's the raid. I'll have to go to the raid channel. I'm not doing that yet. Um, so you go in there. That's the raid. Once you once you're at the uh, 5400 exorcism mark, and I'm right there. I'm at 5447. You'll do your first raid. It's called Fiend War, and you'll do that. And that's that's another source of getting uh, the same getting the the sky wishes for your epic gear, guys. And so what you'll want to do here is, here's the dungeon. It's called the closed area. I'm not just going to run it because it's long. But there's a channel dedicated to it, closed area channel. And you'll notice there are, it's the morning, so not a lot of people here. But there's typically a, a room full of people here. And uh, if you're new, you're probably going to want to, it, this is it's a big mission. It's, it's, it's larger than you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> larger than you can imagine. Now you need to be 4760 to go in here as well. Uh, same as to go into the dawning crevice. And what you'll get here is, which I, I kind of talked touched on before, but I didn't actually go into, is this gear for your buff skill. Every character uh, they they streamline the process of getting uh, of maximizing your buff skill. If you remember back when the game first came out, you were you were going in here and you were just right clicking, bam, 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 bam. You're completely changing all your gear, hitting your buff, and then waiting for this to cool down. And then you're bam, 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 going all the way back, back around to change your gear. It's been like 30 seconds before the mission even started to buff. And heaven forbid if your buff was a short duration buff and you're just doing this stuff, you're just doing this the whole match, the whole the whole mission. Uh, now you just put your gear in there and it's automatic. You don't have to swap anything. Now, there is still some swapping for DPS people. Um, fortunately, this new, like, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of, there, well, there's, there's DPS swapping for me, too. Uh, the pet I have right now has a lot of stats. The pet I want to use for my group is called Marvis. I think I have a Marvis thing in here. Um, increases the damage of my group. So, you know, as a, as a buffer, I want to be increasing the damage of my group. So I might, I'll swap to that pet, right? We get to the boss, pop that right when the boss becomes vulnerable or my group's getting ready to do their biggest attacks. We get the damage buff, everybody's happy, nice, you know, and they get the, the stat boost from me having my higher stat pet when I, when I buff, right? So that's, that's a minor swapping, but all this stuff to get, you know, to plus 20 Valor Blessing uh, that I have right now, and this can definitely go higher. Um, is just permanently equipped. So anytime when I buff, when I went into the mission and I buffed, it was plus 20, it wasn't plus 10. I see it's plus 21, I don't know. It's, it's cheating me on a level. I'm plus 21, I think it's the aura from my metal iron armor. I guess I'm plus one as well. So you see, I still have some empty slots that I don't have something in. I just need to buy it or I need to go get it. So you get items, you will get legendary items that will give you a boost to your buff skill from that place right there, Operation Hope. And you can run it six times a week. And so you'll you'll run that, you'll get your buff gear, uh, and that's just one and done. You'll get your buff equipment, you'll fill out all these slots, and then you know, that's it. You don't need to run it ever again, you're done. Um, but that's one of the things that you can do as well. There's also one more piece of, piece of uh, content, and I'm gonna just port there because I'm lazy. Arid. Elmire. High Tower. Where is it? Valley of the Fallen Souls. So this is some uh, content right here. Uh, this is some challenge solo content. And these are towers. These are all towers. If you remember the old Tower of Death, you used to have to go through this tower to awaken your character. Now it's just, you know, 
get some mats. You have you don't even do the quest line anymore. Um, but you do these towers. I'm not actually going to run through the towers, but when you complete the towers, you'll get these coins. Uh, this one's called the Seal of Despair. And you'll be able to take this one is 75 to 80. Uh, 75 to 80. Anguish is 85 to 90. Um, and these are weapons. These are epic weapons. And this is the current one. Uh, Tower of Dazzlement. So you'll finish the Tower of Dazzlement. You'll take your uh, materials from the tower. You'll take a million gold. And you'll get to grab a, a epic weapon of your choice. You get to choose it. And select it. And that one is the same thing. You can it, there's this one is random, and then this one is your choice. And you get to choose uh, enhancement cards and everything like that. And that's basically the content. So there's different towers. Um, yeah, and it's it's great because some of, some of these scale, some of these don't. So these ones, some of these are going to be pretty easy at level 95. The other ones are not so much. <laughs> <laughs> and this is challenging solo content. Exorcism required here is 4,600. So it's slightly before you can start doing the Dawning Crevice and getting the epic weapons yourself, you should be doing um, using your counts every day. You get one if you have high explorer count. Um, see this? Uh, what level is it? Oh, and there it is. You get Tower of Spare plus five. So you get, you get extra tower entries for being a high level. Uh, you want to go in here, you want to make sure you're doing this every day so you can get the materials from it. It's an Elven Guard where you start to gain where I started. Uh, so you just want to come up here and do this once a day so you can get an extra shot at getting your weapon. So in case you get unlucky, you can go ahead and grab your, grab your epic weapon out of here. Worst case scenario. Worst, worst case scenario because we're getting the fragments from doing the hell mode anyway. So we, were, we're, we have three different avenues to getting... Uh, the gear that we want so that's all i got guys uh if you have any comments for me uh suggestions uh shout outs anything like that please feel free to leave that in the comment section below uh, i appreciate the comments i've gotten thus far appreciate the engagement thank you guys so much um and i, I look forward to anybody that that wants to start playing the game let's say you you don't want to level alone I'd, I'd be happy to level with you so uh go ahead and reach out to me and i hope to see you here in arid uh, very soon. Again, I'll plug one more time uh, Project Barbecue. I don't know what year that's going to come out. It was first announced in 2011. We got a pretty good preview of Real, Unreal Engine 4 of the game uh, in last year, 2018. And so I'm hoping, hoping maybe next year, 2020, 2021, it's ready to go and is massively advertised and there's just a ton of people playing the game. So I, I, I look forward to that. That's why I keep coming back to this game periodically. Maybe once a year, I crack this game open. It's, it's you know, it's, a, it's an oldie but a goodie. I love it. I love 2D beat-em-ups, you know, the Streets of Rage, the Final Fight, uh, Street Fighter, you know, all, all those kind of games. I love that stuff to death, Golden Axe. Um, so being, being able to just do a 2D scroller and, and beat up bad guys and throw them around, uh, it's wonderful. And then it combines that with equipment and stats and the RPG aspect, buffing and DPSing and holding and, and all, all those good things that you that comes in an MMO as well. There's raiding and there's PvP and there's you know all, all this kind of stuff that's, that goes into an MMO on top of that 2D beat em up. Uh, fantastic fighter, right? So uh, I love it, and I hope you love it too. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.